How to Build Your Canadian Timber Luna, CTC 22LU. Make sure you have the following items. Make sure you have a steady and level platform to build your sauna on. Lay out the four floor joists. Grab your bottom center stave and place it on the floor joists. Ensure it is perfectly centered on the joists. Secure it with a 3 inch screw. Ensure it is square and add another 3 inch screw. Repeat this process on the other end. Ensure that the joists are 30 inches apart and centered. Ensure they are square and secure with 3 inch screws. Begin placing the staves. Ensure that the notches are aligned and secure with 3 inch screws. Once you have the 8 staves placed on either side of the center stave, move on to the next step. Place your rear wall bottom stave with the two holes, flat bottom, curved edge and the tongue on top. Now place your next rear wall stave, two holes, groove on the bottom, curved edge and tongue on top. Now place the 12 middle rear wall staves. Now insert the threaded rods through the holes on the rear wall staves. Tap the staves together to lock the tongues into the grooves. Place a washer and a nut on the bottom of the threaded rods and tap them into the staves.
Now place your second last rear wall stave. Place your final rear wall stave. Place a washer and nut on the top of the threaded rods. Tighten the nuts on the top and the bottom with a 7 16 inch socket. Now remove the excess rod. Place your front wall bottom stave, three holes, flat bottom, curved edge, and tongue on the top with the door notch. Now place your next front wall stave. Two holes, groove on the bottom, one curved edge, one flat edge, and tongue on top. Now place a straight edge front wall stave. Two holes, groove on the bottom, and tongue on top. Now the bottom window stave. Two holes, groove on the bottom, tongue on top with window notch. Now a small piece with the curved edge on the other side. Now, two straight-edged small pieces. Now insert three threaded rods through the holes on the front wall staves. Place a nut and washer on the bottom of the three threaded rods. Now place the window piece into the window groove. Now place the door, ensure the logo is on the bottom and facing inward, and the hinges are on the outside. Now place the small straight edge staves on the rods until you reach the top of the door and window. Now place two longer straight edge staves over the window. Place a full length stave with a door notch and curved edge. Place the top front wall stave, groove on the bottom, three holes, curved edge and sloped top.
Now tap the rods on the bottom into the staves. Place a nut and washer on the top of the rods. Tighten the nuts on the top and the bottom with a 7 16 inch socket. Remove the excess rod. Give all the nuts a final tightening. Tap all the staves to ensure they are even. Place the front wall into the groove and ensure it is centered. Place the back wall into the groove and ensure it is centered. Place the top center stave for temporary support. Now place the sidewall staves and secure with 3 inch screws. At this point, remove the top center stave and put it aside. Now for the top, only place the staves. We will screw them down later. When you reach the middle, place the top center stave so it creates a V-shape with the last stave.
Now tap the V until it is flat. If you are unable to get the V to flatten out, use one of the included spacers to adjust the center stave to the proper size. Now place back the center stave, create the V and tap it flat. Now secure all the roof staves with 3 inch screws. Now roll out the EPDM membrane. Ensure it is centered. Now staple the EPDM membrane to the end of the staves. Trim off the excess EPDM membrane. Now mark the center of the first trim piece. Align this mark with the center of the sauna and secure it with three one and a half inch screws. Place the bottom corner trim pieces and secure with two one and a half inch screws. Repeat this with the remaining front trim pieces. Repeat this with the rear trim pieces. Now start placing the siding after the curve and secure with staples. Use the included spacer blocks to properly align each strip.
Once 18 strips are placed, repeat the process on the other side. Now it's time to install the bench. Roughly place your bench legs as shown. Place the top bench onto the legs and ensure it is snug against the wall. Align the bench legs to the bottom of the bench. Secure to each leg with three one and a half inch screws. Place the bottom bench onto the legs. Secure to each leg with three one and a half inch screws. Secure the legs to the wall and floor using four two-inch screws. Now measure the height of the stove mounting bolts. Add six inches to that measurement and transfer the measurement to the side wall of the sauna. Due to the curved edge, you will have to measure from a couple staves away from the wall where it is flat. Using the provided template, punch out the holes for your mounting bolts. Center the template on the wall. Align the bolt holes to your mark and screw in the stove mounting bolts. Install the stove on the mounting bolts. To assemble the stove guard, ensure the pre-drilled holes are on the bottom. Assemble it together with eight one and a half inch screws.
Place four one and a half inch screws into the pre-drilled holes on the bottom to prepare for mounting. Center the stove guard, align it with the stave and secure it to the wall. Mark the vent hole positions. Drill out with a 2 inch hole saw. Only go halfway through to prevent splintering. Finish drilling from the other side. Screw on the vent guard. Now screw on the vent board with a one and a half inch screw. Cut out two more holes under the stove. Screw on the vent guard. Install the outer door handle at the desired height. Secure it with two one and a half inch screws. Install the inner door handle at the desired height. Secure it with two one and a half inch screws. Install the towel hanger at the desired height. Secure it with four one and a half inch screws. Now install the optional sand timer. Secure it with two one and a half inch screws. Now install the optional thermometer. Check where the thermometer mounting bracket lines up and insert a one and a half inch screw. Hang the thermometer on the screw. Your assembly is now complete. Enjoy your sauna.